so rude. But I show you feeling good. And I know you in- Hello, everyone. I am Kayla Moore. I'm a songwriter and the author of Your Path to Songwriting Success, Seven Steps to Becoming a Confident Songwriter. Today, I have a very special guest, my friend, Noelle Archer. Hi, Noelle. Hey, Kay. Noelle is a singer, songwriter, a vocal coach. She has helped me as well as a vocal coach. She is a stilt walker. She is a dancer. She is a multi talented woman and I am so honored to be talking to her today. Thank you for joining me, Noelle. Thank you for having me, (laughs) Key. So let's get right into it. How did you start with music? How did that all come about? I like to hear like the unique stories of artists and you know when it all started. You know I I feel like it never started because it was there all my life. I think yeah, because I came from a musical family. My father was like one of the top tenor singers in Trinidad and Tobago. Really? Yeah. Oh my so God. I um, I just was around music growing up. Uh-huh. And then uh, one day, one day, like I, I was working, I was working um, a, a, a nine to five job mm-hmm. and I was just frustrated. And then I decided, you know what, let me do something I love. And of course, I was still I was act, I was a, an active musician, singing and okay. So how, I decided, long, how long did it take you to discover? Like after doing the nine to five, how long did it take for you to be like, you know what, this is two not years. Two, two years. years, yeah. Good. I two took years, like two years, two years and then I was like, you know what, I'm going <laughs> to pursue music full time because I love right. music. I do music, but I'd never made it like the front of my yeah. life. So right. from that day, I was just like music. That's it. Made that so everything else was like complimenting my music. I started to dance and act and write and everything. That's but true. <laughs> all of it, all wow. of it, yeah, all wow. of it was just you know, it st- it stemmed from music, from me singing right. and yeah. Right. That is so cool. So tell me about like the first song you ever wrote. Do you remember that song? The first song I ever wrote. I tried to see if I wrote anything as a child, but no. Mm-hmm. Um, one day, my um, I tried to enter a calypso competition at school, mm-hmm. and I took a, a calypso that my sister had, uh-huh. and I added like a verse and like change up some of the words. So I think that would have been my first writing. You right. know, but like it was it was my song, but I contributed to it. But I mean, it okay. starts somewhere. Yeah. You know? So tell me about the song. How did it, what was it about? <laughs> it was about pollution. <laughs> okay. That's cool. That's cool. And now I know you have a brand new song out with Kerwin Dubois. It's called yeah. Party Central. Yeah. Amazing, amazing song. How did that song come about? And how did you get involved in it? And like, what was that whole process like? Well, I think it was me it was it stemmed from me being a member of spot right and uh, yeah so tell because, people about spot huh tell people about spot oh so spot is singing producing talent you know unleashing talents right so mm-hmm. i am um, auditioned i didn't know it was an audition actually i just knew that i always wanted to work with Cohen. So Mm -hmm. I saw Cohen on Instagram had something live and I was like, well, let's do this. And I grabbed my guitar and I had written a song (laughs) about Corona. I was like, all right, let's go. And when I got through, I was like ecstatic. I was like, yeah. And I auditioned. I sang my song, played my guitar. And Mm -hmm. then I made a mistake. He's like, go ahead. I'm like, yeah, continue. And then I got that email some months after and I got into spot. I met incredible people. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I met I met so many talented people. The most amazing so group of people. Many. Wow. You know? Mm-hmm. And it was just really good to work with all these people and under um the mentorship of, of Cohen. Right. And one day I was in the studio, we were doing a project and he asked me to do background vocals on Party Central. I was like, yeah, no problem. I'm in the studio. So, mm-hmm. and then he sent another message through uncle. Uncle is like, <laughs> uncle is like the godfather of 
<laughs> of, of spots. We love yeah. Uncle. We love Uncle. <laughs> and and um, so he sent this message asking if I, I'd like to sing a verse on it. And so I was like, sure. You know, so, that? <laughs> so that's course. what I got on the project. And I didn't, I didn't realize the magnitude of the project at that point. I just know it was, it was so cool to be on this project. But then um, afterwards, I got added to a group with all the other people on the um, origin project. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is is that part essential? Is part of that project, origin project. That is so like, exciting, Noel. Well. That is so, so exciting and amazing. So what was like the experience like working with Cor- with Kerwin? He's like a genius songwriter and producer and all of that. So how did you feel working with him? Kerwin is, is interesting, you know, because sometimes you try to reach him and he's so busy. So sometimes you try to reach him and you don't get him right away. Mm-hmm. But then when he gets back to you, it's like all this information and you just have these ping moments. It's right. like, consider this, 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 this. And it's like, oh my goodness, why didn't I think of that? But it does just make so much sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's, he's a really incredible, talented person. Definitely. So what can we all expect from you in the future? I know you've been doing music for a while. I saw some of your stuff and I was like, wow. So, so what, what do you think you're going to be doing like in the future? How can we, what, what should we expect from you? I'm going to do some more music, of course. Mm-hmm. I want to do some more integration of my other crafts. So mm-hmm. not, just, not just music, but just art, performance, yes, arty stuff, right? I want to do more visual stuff, video okay. to music, video to the arts, you okay. know? I can't wait um, to see. Working with more incredibly talented people, mm-hmm. that is done collaborations and stuff moving forward so nice talk for some more noel archer definitely and now noel i got some random questions for you Ooh. okay so number one who's your favorite artist my favorite artist is beyonce okay yeah she got mad skills she got mad skills Crazy. and i like i like that she's all-rounded like yeah. myself, I like a little of everything. So right. I like that about her, you know? Right, right. So if you could transform into any animal in the world, what would that animal be and why? Probably a puppy because I just like, I li- I'm a dog person. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like how loving and care- caring yes. and faithful they are. Yes. That's probably... A reflection of me. That's yes. I'm a real. You know, I have my new puppy. Well, he he's about seven months old, and he is so cute and so loving all the time. All the you time. see, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Those, Do you so, have a puppy? I grew up with dogs. Okay. When I moved into, I remember when I was just entering secondary school, and we moved. We moved mm-hmm. with like three full-grown dogs wow. and eight puppies in this new place. Oh just pile them up in the car and move. Oh my gosh. Were any of them in the house? Because I know in Trinidad, they like to keep the dogs outside most of the time. Yeah. Well, as, as children, we snuck some puppies in. We okay. Didn't, <laughs> I remember there was a night. Puppies, they, so they cry a lot. Mm-hmm. So there was a night we had these puppies and they would just cry and cry. And we brought them in. Aww, and then <laughs> we slept with them. And then when it was getting closer to morning, we put them back out quiet so any parents wouldn't know. That's so sweet. Sometimes they just want to be cuddled. (laughs) Exactly. So, So, next question. If you could be an ice cream flavor, what would it be and why? And you could you could create your own flavor. You could add nuts and all that kind of stuff, sprinkles and stuff. What would be your flavor and why would that be your flavor? I like um, peanut because, because I like peanut. <laughs> and, you know, it's not for everybody, eh? So right. You know, you could, it could be dangerous. <laughs> right? so I'll have some peanut. Um, I'll put 
a little rum. Uh-huh. You know, um, I'll put whipped cream mm-hmm. from a little sass. Yes. <laughs> um, and just put a cherry on top. Yeah. Yes. Just to top it off. <laughs> cool. So now, how would you describe soca music? To an alien from another planet who's never heard of soca music. Oof. How do you do that? It's like saying talk about music. Mm-hmm. You know, music is something, music is something that's felt. So I will first start by saying soca music is something you have to experience. And when you do mm-hmm. experience it, the feeling of joy and happiness and freeness that you get from soca music. The feeling to dance and just be in like a wine. The wine. <laughs> mm. Yes. Yeah. That it it just feels good. Yeah. It's hard to describe. It's something you feel in your soul and in your, your blood and your veins. <laughs> I won't be able to tell the, the Caribbean the, 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 the alien the Caribbean and yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on get that, you know? So when you experience it, you let me know. <laughs> right, right. So everybody knows Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago has been canceled for 2021, unfortunately, due to Corona. But how do you think this affects the people of Trinidad and the people around the world who were not able to attend or the people who we're planning to go for the first time and couldn't go. Like I was supposed to go with my sister this year who she never went. And what do you think is like the overall feeling of this? Uh, (laughs) Good is Tabanka. Yes. Tabanka. Yes. Oh my God. For those who don't know the word Tabanka, Tabanka is that feeling you get after breakup when you just meet up someone. Yes. That is Tabanka. That is the- and that is what I think everybody in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean mm-hmm. diaspora that would have come and enjoy carnival. Yeah. Everybody's feeling a bit of that. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I'm st- I am still going through it. So is yeah, that I could imagine with you living there and everything, it must be so strange. Is the thing about it is not just is not just affecting the entertainers. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's the whole is the market is the yes is everybody everything is connected. It's so crazy. The music, everything, everything. <laughs> from from the time the new year starts, mm-hmm. there's a feeling that come. You know yes. how the feeling of Christmas approaching yeah. and people putting up their lights and their decorations. Yes. There is that feeling of carnival Mm -hmm. it's a and it's an entire season that has been cut out and minimized yeah (sighs) Yeah. unfortunately hopefully next (sighs) year hopefully next year is back and coronavirus will be a distant memory i pray and i hope because carnival you know it's a time where you just free up yourself and you can't compare it to any other time any other event it's just freedom, freedom. That's what it is. And, and you can just be yourself and you could just mm-hmm. release and, and it doesn't matter how you look, size, shape, it just doesn't matter. And I feel like it just represents how the world should be all the time. <laughs> but yeah. anyway. That's the reading part, there's so much that is, is history in it is so oh, much, yeah. so much depth to carnival. Yeah, yes. so we could have a whole other conversation about carnival. But um, so Noel, mm-hmm. I want to ask you if you could please give aspiring songwriters who are probably afraid to take that next step to step into their you know songwriting life. Do you have any advice to give them that could, you know, give them a nudge or just help them to to move forward? Okay, well, I have to speak to myself here as well because mm-hmm. I um I would I grew up not thinking I'm a writer, even though I wrote a song here, a song there. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I wasn't so much considering myself a writer, but now I, I have to put that behind me. And I, mm -hmm. I do embrace the fact that I am a writer. You are. Right? Yes, you are. You're a great writer. Thank you. Yeah. So the, um, the, what I would advise you to do is keep working on your craft, keep practicing. And uh, I'm also advising myself as I'm speaking right now, you know, mm -hmm. keep working, keep practicing, mm -hmm. believe in yourself. That's number one. Believe in yourself and surround yourself with people that believe in you as well and would wow. advise you likewise. Uh, thank you for that. And can you tell everyone like where they can get your music, where they can follow you, you know, social media? Do you have a website? Yes, all of the above. Okay. Looking for Noelle Archer. That's N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, Archer. Mm -hmm. And you could find you could find information at noelarcher.com. You could check out social media at Noel Archer. Um, once you once you search the word Noel Archer, it you sh it should link you directly to me on all the different platforms, YouTube, around. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Feel free to reach out. What was that? Feel free to reach out. Yes, reach out to Noel, and she's an excellent voice coach. Just in case you guys are looking for that. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> and just so everyone knows. I am a songwriting coach, and if you're ready to step into your songwriting genius and you're ready to write that song, please definitely reach out to me, DM me. You can go to my website, www.klamore.com. We could set up a free strategy call where we can chat about how I can possibly help you. And we will go from there. And thank you so much, Noel, for taking out the time to chat with me. Thank you for having me. Love you, girl. Oh, love you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Happy songwriting. Take care. Bye. Reaction. Wind back and watch the reaction. Hey, go down, go, go down, go down, go down.